Um, so social media, make sure that it's all well branded, everything, you know, you have your cover photos, you have your content that you've created. Um, videos do a lot better on um, Facebook with, a, with not a lot of text. So generally speaking, if you're gonna be doing something, um, especially to promote new music, create like a 15 second teaser. Um, I'm a big fan of doing stuff that is more creative than just like available now kind of thing, but something cool um, and vibey that speaks to the brand um, that you can post. And you know, Facebook will automatically show it to more people because they're trying to build out their videos. Um, Facebook Lives are really, really great for um, building an audience. We have an artist who, Facebook is their band um, and they're from a very small town and their audience started out in that small town. Um, pretty much everyone from that small town followed them and they created content, they're farmers. So they created content that spoke to their core audience, which was um, farmers. So they did a Facebook Live talking about how their, um, they did a parody to um, another artist and they said, so they, it was called their tractor got stuck because it was really dry. It was a really dry season in farming world. And the people that were following them, which their core followers were in those small towns, farmers, they all shared it and ended up getting like 2 million views on Facebook. Wow. And they ended up growing from tw like 2,500 fans to 18,000 fans in a year. Now they went from 20,000 fans to 45,000 fans in the next year, just because they continued to build content and cute and hilarious parodies um, that spoke to their core audience. And then, you know, farmers now in Australia are sharing their photos because they're going through what they went through in Canada. Um, so they found a way to bring back the music to something on their audience, which Facebook is their, their number one audience, but now they're slowly starting to build the other platforms um, because they've developed a huge base on Facebook um, and they created content and it was on th through Facebook Live. Um, they built the parody, then they went live on the farm and people around the world now are sharing that because it speaks to them. Um, so yeah, so Facebook Live is a huge one um, to make sure you utilize. Um, they also have, now you can actually, um, there's a bunch of different third party sites. Um, POP is one of them and you can do the messenger bot, like ads. So you can go up, so if you go to a page and you notice it, um, like a messenger thing will show, will pop up. So someone, if they travel to your page, you can promote um, to your audience another way of kind of getting back the music and you can send them a video link, you can send them an album link. Um, so that's another tool that Facebook has kind of um, uh, sent out. So um, do, you mean, do you mean that when you go to someone's Facebook page and the, and the messenger like automatically opens up and yes. says something to you? Yeah. And you could put your new song in there or something? Yeah. 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 So people are more and more using that as well as a tool. Um, and yeah, so Facebook, try to, you know, try to really look at that audience because just with their algorithm, if you're posting stuff, if you're posting stuff with a lot of words, they're not going to show it to as many people. Um, so be careful with um, how much actual um, written, um, how much like writing you have on your posts. Um, they, they favor videos. So if you can make it a video, I would. Um, yeah, so that's Facebook. And um, Twitter is, you know, Twitter people, as much as people are kind of like, oh, it's dying, it's still very much around. Um, it's just a certain thing, you know, especially in terms of like news, it's a big thing for news, it's a big thing for sports, and it's a big thing for television. So think about Twitter also as like prime time. So people are mostly like, if you're watching, um, so when you're thinking about like, um, prime time at night, if there's like a show on or something, that's a great time to kind of go on and do a chat with people or because people are on um, Twitter. Um, you know, targeting people. So if you're trying to do an advertising or you want to do an ad um, on Twitter, do it surrounding like in a big award show or if, you know, if your artist gets to um, play at a sports game or has some sort of moment like that, Twitter is a great place to um, do an advertising campaign and target people utilizing a certain hashtag. 
Um, it's also just really great for conversation. So if you want to, um, a great way of building out your following is engaging with other artists um, or other brands and, you know, asking them a question or, you know, engaging with what they're posting and then get into a conversation with them and then their followers will see you. Um, so Twitter is a great place um, to do that. Keep it short, keep it simple, keep it news related or um, conversation related. Um, and as I mentioned, um, tweets only last an hour essentially on a feed. So you can keep on tweeting. Um, you don't have to worry about over tweeting. Um, it's just you can't really target properly on Twitter. So that's the only thing is, you know, at least on, on um, Facebook, if you have, if you're doing a tour, you can target specifically at markets, whereas um, Twitter, you actually just have to let everyone see it. Um, although then you can utilize the hashtags and put the place in, in a hashtag. Um, and then Instagram, as mentioned, is just so important now um, to build out. Stories have become a great tool um, for artists who, you know, you don't want to over post in your feed. You can over post in your story. Um, you now that now Spotify is integrated and SoundCloud is integrated into Instagram stories. So you can actually um, include music directly into your stories. Um, I, you'll probably see this a lot, how artists will take screenshots of something on Spotify or Apple or what or a video and just be like, love this new song and tag an artist. Um, people, artists have really become influencers for each other. And um, in order for, you know, you want other artists to, to do the same back for you. So it's great to share love. And I feel like stories have become a great way for, for artists to do that for other artists. Um, as well as just take your fans through your daily life with you. Um, and then, and that actually the, one of the most successful click through rates now in terms of advertising on socials is through Instagram stories. Um, they even have a higher like uh, click through rate than if you do an ad through your feed. So mm -hmm. those become really popular. Um, mm -hmm. You know, you'll see stuff like, Hey Spotify, I'm so glad that you released our new song or you've, you've added us to your playlist, swipe up to stream us now and you can add the link and it goes right through. So those have been very, very successful um, as of right now. Everything changed all the time, but right now it's a great way to advertise. Mm -hmm. um, and, you know, keep your Instagrams branded well, you know, don't go all over the place. If you've, you can see a lot of artists have like a very specific theme um, with their pages because it is, it's like an art. Um, Instagram more than anything is kind of like a way of um, showing who you are, but also just um, in like a very artistic form. Um, so yeah, so keep your, so keep your images kind of co like um, in a way that, you know, speaks to your brand and in a very consistent way. Um, I wouldn't try not to post more than once a day or twice a day on Instagram in your feed. And then if not, just put it to your story and then wait for a better time. Also get to know your prime time of when your audience is on because they've also changed their algorithms where it's based on engagement. So if you're going to post something at a time where not a lot of your audience is there and then not a lot of people engage, then it will end up being shown to less people. So you can see, um, that through the, the Instagram analytics as well. Um, and also Instagram TV now is live. Um, so you'll probably, you probably see that a lot. Um, people are really starting to do that. You can also add in um, longer videos in through that. So um, we've taken past performances or, you know, we're, we're gearing up for a few tours and we can take content that was already created or content that, um, of artists performing at a different time and putting it up on Instagram TV um, to get people excited for the tour. Um, so yeah, so Instagram has a lot of great tools for artists and brands in general.